Hey again, Roger Casey with Burgess Construction Consultants. Want to touch on GFCI locations uh, real quick today. So we know in the 2009 GFCI required locations um, increased to include garages and unfinished basements. In the 2015, laundry rooms and dishwashers were added to that mix. And in the 2018, crawl spaces are added as required locations for GFCI. But I want to go back to the dishwasher a minute because there's another change in the 2018 specifically for dishwashers. Um, for that scenario in uh, E4101.3, now the outlet for cord and plug dishwasher connections needs to be in an adjacent cabinet. It can no longer be behind the dishwasher. So when you've got a dishwasher installation like this, and we know it's already marked out, been laid out, then the, the outlet can no longer be behind it. It's got to be in an adjacent cabinet. So this harkens back to the definition changes of access and ready access that I discussed in a previous post. In that post, we were talking about the gas shutoff valve for kitchen ranges. And now that location can be directly behind the range. No longer is it required to be in an adjacent cabinet. Uh, however, in this scenario, this disconnect, this shutoff is still going to be in an adjacent cabinet. And that is potentially problematic, interfering with base cabinetry um, pots and pans, um, cookie sheets, etc. So uh, one of the things to keep note of is that later this year, uh, in September of 2020, the new NEC 2020 version is due out, and in that there are 11 required locations for GFCI outlets, some changes there, but also some whole home surge protection required, an emergency electrical shutoff on the exterior of the house, so, so some things like that that we'll be talking more about in coming weeks. But uh, hope this is uh, useful for you, and thanks for watching.